So right now I'm actually sitting in my living room because Chaz actually just brought me some tropical smoothie. I am trying peaches and silk today, which I've never had. It's just peaches, strawberries, and bananas. And then I did add vitamin B12 and chia seeds. And then I also got, I forget what it's called, but it's the Superfoods Caesar salad, I believe. So I have that here and I'm so, so excited. So basically I'm just hanging out and waiting for Chaz to get back. He had to run back out because he went to our storage unit today and he is grabbing, wait for it, drum roll please, our Christmas tree. I know it is so early to be thinking about Christmas, but you guys, okay, so hold on. I need to get my salad because this is gonna take me a minute. I usually get the hummus veggie salad from there, but, mmm. Well, let me just show you guys what it looks like. This is so delicious looking. Oh, I can smell the Parmesan crisps, yum. I always get the Beyond Meat from Tropical Smoothie as well. It actually tastes really delicious and it's just a vegetarian option. So if you are vegetarian, just so you know, Tropical Smoothie does have the Beyond Meat or the veggie chicken, I guess you could say. And it is really good, so I like it. But this salad has like spinach and kale and Parmesan cheese and tomatoes, and it just looks so, so delicious. And I love that they put the dressing in containers too because I really don't like a lot of salad dressing. Just enough, not too much. No, Chief, this isn't for you. He smells my yummy food. <laughs> All right, so what I was gonna kind of tell you guys is that the reason that I'm having Chaz go to get the Christmas tree today is because I have been obsessing over baby stuff. And I know that that doesn't really sound like they go together, but I have been working a lot on our registries recently and just looking at kind of like all of this different swings and bouncers and little play areas and things that I know I'm gonna wanna have in our main area of the house. So like this living room slash dining room area just because we're out here a lot. I, I wanted to make sure that everything would fit, but also with our Christmas tree. So I'm basically seeing if our Christmas tree is gonna fit in our living room. I'm hoping that it will because, I don't know, I just can kind of wrap my head around the baby stuff that I'm gonna want in the living room as well. And on top of both of those things, on top of like thinking about baby stuff and the Christmas tree and what's gonna go in that space when it's not Christmas time, we are also considering, and I'll show you guys here, which I'll show you guys more when Chaz gets home, and I don't know, he paused this football game, but this dresser here, we are considering putting in our baby girl's room. And we actually found this dresser at a thrift store a few years ago and turned it into a TV stand. So we still have the other drawers to go with it and it's just a really pretty dresser, I really love it. So basically what we're considering doing is mounting our TV and we are eventually gonna get a bigger TV, we just don't know exactly when that will be. So for now, I just kind of wanted to put other things in their place. That way I can just kind of get an idea as to where everything's gonna go and if everything will kind of fit how I want it in the living room. Again, this house is small, so we've thought about rearranging the living room and it's just, I don't know if it's gonna work. I feel like this is the only way that it will work. And once we get a bigger TV, we want to be able to mount that on the wall. And then I thought of putting something maybe underneath and I don't know if I would have like another kind of TV stand that doesn't poke out as much or maybe some floating shelves with some baskets for baby toys underneath. I'm not really sure what we wanna do yet. We're just kind of gonna play around with some ideas today. But basically I wanted to see if the Christmas tree would fit in there as well, just before we do mount anything. Mm. I don't know. I guess I'm trying to kind of think of everything at once so that when a certain time frame does come around, I'm not like, oh no, we don't have room for the baby swing or we don't have room for the Christmas tree. So anyway, let me know if you guys have any ideas down below. But yeah, as soon as Chaz gets home, we'll go ahead and jump into that. What's up guys? Today is Sunday. I uh, was up late last night mm -hmm. watching my knolls get crushed by Clemson Tigers. So, but I'm oh, still- Oh, I know, so sad. <laughs> I'm still repping them, even though uh, we're pretty miserable this season. I think it's time that I start actually uh, start paying attention to professional football games so I can at least watch uh, somebody win. So my team for the pros is the Bucks. I got it paused right now. Yeah, I, I showed them that. Because, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just need I need some, something to watch football-wise that makes me happy. Anyways, uh, I paused it because I went to the shed to get our Christmas stuff. 
we have a bunch and I had a you know we have a bunch of stuff in the shed that we still need to go through um, so we're actually now starting to gather all that as we bring it home um, go through it organize it mm -hmm. um, so we're starting with the Christmas Jesus. stuff we've already done our fall stuff which you've done a great job by the way oh, thanks, the bins babe. look great you get smaller bins and yeah we've been starting to organize some bins in the garage that we can show you guys mm -hmm. kind of our ideas of what we're gonna do with mm -hmm. the garage yeah but yeah today we are just going to go through that stuff and see what we have because we have a lot uh, and see what we can use out of that that we've collected through the years so that we don't buy new stuff. So last night, Jesse had me moving this around a little <laughs> bit. Um, a lot, a like lot. 15 times back and forth. Sport. You know, I had the game on, but I was like, you know, I can pause it, I can rewind it. But Yeah, because um, you're the best hubby ever. Yeah. Um, so we, we tried caddy cornering this, but uh, yeah, we were getting really yeah. frustrated because this piece that I made is just, it's pretty bulky. It's a big, it's an old dresser that I repainted, took the drawers out and uh, used those as kind of our cable box and Xbox kind of a storage area that you see on a normal mm -hmm. uh, TV stand. A normal, a normal TV stand. So we tried caddy cornering it because you originally wanted the TV, I'm sorry, the the Christmas tree here. Well, that's what I was thinking, just because it would, I don't know, there's you're like con, this You're concerned space. about the space here. So, yeah, last night we were trying to figure out where to put this. We were considering mounting the television and getting a smaller uh, piece of furniture for this, and mm -hmm. we were going to make this the we baby's were... changing table and dresser. Um, yeah, so basically I wanted to, I was going to get a white dresser for her room anyways, and the only thing with this one is here, pull out one of the drawers so they can see. So the drawers come out all the way, and I don't like that. That's not safe. <laughs> so Chaz, it would have to definitely make it so that you know she the drawers, pull it out yeah, on top of her. the drawers don't come out of the way. Yeah. And they are because this is an older piece. It's like an antique that we painted. Um, the drawers don't slide very smoothly, so I don't know if I'm gonna like that anyway. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Stay down. Chief, stay down. Yeah. So, so I just don't know. It's so hard. So we're going to try the Christmas tree in here. Also, we have an artificial tree because of our experience with a real tree last year. We did try to get a real tree last year. <laughs> what yeah, happened so, last year, babe? So every year, the base, at least up uh, in South Dakota where we were, would have a free tree giveaway to, uh, they call it uh, Trees for Troops or something like that. Um, where people donated Christmas trees, the local farms, and you could just take one for free. I volunteered for an event, so I would usually wait around to see what was available. I'd be like, I would just basically help people carry it out for the deployed spouses. But um, yeah, last the first year that I did it, we actually got a decent tree. However, last year, <laughs> I had my eye on this tree and I was, I was about to grab it, but I didn't. I was volunteering for it, so I didn't want to just go and grab it and throw my truck and then leave. You were helping the spouses helping first, the spouses and you were saving first, that tree saving for last. That one. Yeah. Anyway, someone took that, and the last one that I thought was semi decent was uh, a little tree like <laughs> this big. It was seriously four feet tall, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, so this tree was so small, you guys. It was so small, and we had both of our families coming out for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> I was like, um, I think we're going to need something a little bit bigger. Yeah. And the way that our living room was set up, it was like one huge space that included the living room, the dining room, and then this awkward space that wasn't really meant for anything specific. So a really skinny rectangle. Yes. Yeah. So it really opened up our living room, which is why we had this, it just worked better in that house. And then, you know, we needed a bigger tree to fill the space in that house. A four foot tree was not gonna work. Yeah. Although we do love real trees, but- I've I always had a real tree. Yeah. You know, with, at least with my family, we, we always had real trees. I like real trees. I love mm -hmm. the smell of them and stuff. Uh, however, they do, you know, shed a lot. So- They but, do. You know, and they're and kind of expensive too. They are, but I mean, I feel like once we have kids too, it would be a fun tradition to go and like cut down a real tree every year. That would be so much fun. But for now, I don't know. Yeah. So last we'll year we artificial. decided to get spend our money on a fake tree, artificial tree, that's pre-lit. Mm -hmm. um, that's also a very difficult part of 
um, having a, a real tree is you have to string it and it's a fire hazard. You right. Know, it, there, there's a lot. To yeah, get that's into it. Yeah, right. Yeah. So this you have to keep watering it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So before we get started, we're just taking a little bit of a relaxation break this morning. Oh, you hear the sirens, Chief? What's going on? So while Chaz is doing that, I'm going to listen to our baby girl's heartbeat. So I just keep the Doppler in this end table. So I have my towel, the Doppler, and then the gel. That way I can just lay on the couch and do this whenever I feel like it. Oh, oh, sweet girl. We gotta be careful. Chaz already slipped her name <laughs> that we had to cut out oh, yeah. earlier. Do you guys want a baby name hint today? Maybe we'll slip it in this vlog somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. So some of you guys have been requesting that we drop some baby name hints like throughout the rest of the pregnancy. And then we won't reveal her name until right before the birth. But yeah, I think we could use some baby name hints. Yeah. So, yeah. I'll wait a little bit longer. Yeah, we are thinking of a good in. one. Yeah. We don't want to give it away it. the first time around. Yeah. Don't that worry. wouldn't be fun. Let's see if we can find your heart, you baby girl. Well, that was easy. Yeah. Yeah, you're getting better, or she's getting bigger and easier to find. There we go. Whoa, 168? Okay, mm. now it's regulating. She's not ever been that high before. Okay. Where are we Here got? she is, about 151. Okay. That's yeah. She's been between 140 and 150, or 140 to 158, 159. Yeah. But you just had yeah. some sugar too, right? Doesn't that have an impact on? I don't know, actually. They're like kicking and activity and stuff. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. I've heard like orange juice, and that has peaches, strawberries, and bananas. So. Your, sure. your charcoal smoothie smoothie. This is the Sonaline B baby Doppler, and. I have been able to find her heartbeat every single time mm -hmm. since I think either 17 or 18 weeks. So I didn't get it too early on just because I didn't want to worry myself. Mm -hmm. But every time since I've had this, I've been able to find her heartbeat and I got it for only $49.95. And this per particular brand has a lot of really good reviews. So if you are interested, you can check the link down below and get one for yourself or yeah. for a friend if you have someone that you know that's pregnant. That's all they did at your last doctor's visit, right? They just came in with yep. a, a fetal Doppler and just listened Oops. to the heart. Guys, I forgot my towel. Uh-uh. <laughs> That's okay. So, Chief. Hey, baby boy. What you doing? How's your day going? Excuse me, Did you feel good outside? Ow! Did you just kick that on my ankle? I, I didn't do anything, baby. How did it hit your ankle? <laughs> your toe was on it, I think. <laughs> My toe wasn't on it. <sighs> Those things are like... It's like a Lego. It's the, the worst kind of Lego. It's training us, I think. We're, tra we're being trained. Ouch. Yeah, so my bucks aren't doing too so hot either. So, I got the baby's heart to listen to and make me happy. Yeah. And Christmas trees. Christmas trees. I'd rather know what we have like ahead of time just mm -hmm. so I know what not to buy and then what I still need to buy. I definitely know I'm going to buy some new um, pillow covers for the throw pillows oh, yeah. and I'm just going to change those out instead of buying all brand new pillows. I'm just going to change out the covers. So Should I bring yeah. in all the bins to see what you have? Yeah. So actually, here, follow me. All right. So I'm going to show you guys the nursery and please excuse the mess in here. Let me take this down. Don't worry, we're not keeping this up. <laughs> I didn't know if we were having a boy or a girl for the longest time, so I have just had a sheet up here until I found out what we were having so that I could put up pretty curtains or cute curtains. So anyway, this yeah. right now is kind of like a mixture between my filming room and right here I have some clothes from Goodwill that I got the baby. Oh. I haven't washed them yet though, but you guys wanna see? I was going to do a thrift haul because I have some other thrift stores that I'm going to go to, but this one is just a little 
2210Z. It says, the princess has arrived. And I got mm -hmm. that from Goodwill. It still has those tags on it too. Yep. And then this is just a little sleep sack from Carter's, but I got it at Goodwill as well. Yeah, let's get a baby sleeping so bag. <laughs> yeah. So I just have to wash those. And then I do plan on going to some other thrift stores as well. But that's what that is. And then over here is where I have picked up a couple of things for Christmas. So we we'll gonna do a you haul, guys. right? Yeah, we'll do a Whoa. nope. Gee, watch out, man. So we're gonna do a separate video where you guys can decorate with us and do maybe some more shopping. So mm -hmm. that's why I just of kind course. of put this stuff in here for now <laughs> because I'm not ready to do that, obviously. I have to see what we already have before I keep going shopping. So I don't wanna overspend or spend money on something that we already have. So anyway, that is what that is. Right. This stuff I use for filming my pregnancy um, yeah. updates and things. The chalkboard I've just been taking weekly pictures with. And then all of this stuff over here is like stuff for the nursery. So this is just a flower that I've had for a while. Um, just a blanket. And then these things we actually have already had in the house. So this tray was in our living room on the ottoman. This mirror I bought a while back for our dining room, but I figured it might go pretty in the little one's nursery if she was a girl. This I actually got for our office a while back, but I never hung it up. And then, this is something that one of my friends gave me when we had our miscarriage with our first baby. And it, I believe, stands for remembrance. This is one of the, what's it called? Willow, willow tree figurines. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. I love That's it. It's carved wood, right? Yeah, I believe so. Oh, yeah, willow tree remembrance. So it's gorgeous. So I'm going to put that in the baby's room to remember our other little one. Mm -hmm. And then this faith sign I thought would have been perfect in our living room or somewhere else, but then I decided it might actually go really nice in here because, you know, for this baby, we've had to have like a lot of faith that everything was gonna work out. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I just feel like that would be perfect in her room. Yeah, that's really pretty. So you can kind of see the vibe that I'm gonna go for in here. Yeah. I guess kind of shabby chic with a little bit of bohemian Pink and. Bohemian? Bohemian, a little bit with like I didn't flowers. know that was a thing. So yeah. Um, as far as Christmas stuff goes, we can just bring it in here. Okay, so bring the crates in here. Yeah. Here's our lighting that Jesse uses. Mm -hmm. Those are awesome. Those bulbs are like the size of your head. Yeah, these were actually really cheap off of Amazon. We got them yeah. a couple years ago. Uh, they're linked always in the description box. Yeah, show them this bulb. Yeah, this is the biggest bulb. So if it's like nighttime and I have to film, this makes it look like daylight. It's like a sunlight bulb. But this thing, like, look in comparison to my hand. This is larger than my hand. Yeah. Yeah. Those things put out a lot of a lot of light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are great. Pretty cheap, too, for uh, for yeah. beginner YouTubers, which... Yeah. Yeah. So I just realized I didn't show you what her closet looks like yet. All right, so for right now, I've just hung up all of the clothes that either I've gotten her or other people have purchased for her. And then at the top, I've just kind of separated things like toys. And this little book is so, so sweet. I got this from our neighbor. They're so tiny. I know. This oh says letters God. to my baby. And you write letters to your baby and put them in little envelopes and seal them for her when she's older. It's the cutest open? thing. Sure. This one is to her when she's all grown up. And it says... What I want you to know about me, as in what the, what you want to know. What you want her to know about yeah. us. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, this one is to the future you. The word I want to give you is. Yeah, so one, there's a lot of different ones. One really, on the day you were born. They're so cute. I was in pain. <laughs> Your first home was like this. Oh, well, we'll be able to show her a lot of video on that. Yeah. Too. This is your idea of a good time. Cool. Chief, look at this, honey. Excuse you. That's not for That's you. That's not for you. That's why it's in the closet. <laughs> it was over here. But basically, I just kind of separated things so that once we get the dresser and just everything kind of set up, I'll be able to sort through things. 
So I just have some of her toys and stuffed animals so far. Some bibs, pants and bloomers and tights, the muslin swaddles, and then check this out you guys. This is the cutest thing. I'm so excited about this. Look at this little unicorn set. Isn't it so cute? I just love it. I couldn't pass it up. And then those are some burp cloths from our first baby actually when I bought Chaz some things to tell him that we were expecting and actually the onesie is up here. So this is the onesie that I surprised Chaz with when we were expecting the first time and I thought that our baby girl could wear this and we could just put a bow with it to make it a little bit girly. So like down here I bought this little bow. I thought that would be so cute together. What do you think babe? I can't wait to see her in it. Yeah. And then we just have her little shoes, some washcloths, and then some things that I don't have hangers for yet. Is this her so. first baby bottle? What's this? Yeah, that's her first baby bottle. I got that at Motherhood Maternity oh. as a free little gift. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. And it's a, I don't know how you pronounce it, ma'am, mom, I'm not sure. M-A-M. Ma'am. I'm too cute to be a Gators fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This one is so I've different. organized them from newborn, and then it kind of goes up on the way to the this right. This one's so tiny. I know. That's from one of my friends who gave that to me after she miscarried and after I miscarried. And she had her little rainbow baby. And so now our baby girl will be put in this, and then I'm going to pass that on to someone else. That's a good luck charm, huh? Yeah. Here's our Christmas stuff. We got five bins and the big old tree. I'm, I think I saw some wrapping paper in here and a bunch of other things like Christmas lights. But uh, yeah, we want to get through these things and let's get rid of uh, what we don't need because this is a lot of stuff we don't want to carry around for us for the rest of our, with us for the rest of our lives. No, we need to organize. Yeah. And we've actually been working on standardizing our bins so, and I've been labeling the ones that I'm already done with, um, so with my labeler. So yeah. Yeah. Right. Just order. Yeah. So yeah, that one looks like it's about to collapse. Yeah. Why don't you take them down so I can go through them? Okay. Oh, you guys, I love this pillow. This is so cute. Yeah, I really just forgot what we have. So, oh, this was our first Christmas ornament from my friend Hillary, and she got like this for first us. married first. Christmas yeah, our first Christmas as a married couple, and so it's, yeah, right after our wedding. Cute. Towels. So this looks like ornaments, mostly. A table runner. Oh, that's a table runner, yeah. Some ribbon. Yeah, this one's mostly ornaments. Okay. I love that pillow. So cute. I wish I remember where I got that. Probably TJ Maxx or something. So this is why we're gonna have to standardize our bins and just kind of reorganize and relabel. Like this one says Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. So we actually have stuff in here from our garage sale before we moved down to Florida. So like this, $35 is like from something else, not from this box. This is actually a pillow. I bought these for my classroom a while back. This is a 24 by 24 pillow. And I ended up getting four of them and I didn't use all of them. So this one's still in the box. <laughs> it's not $35, but anyway. Oh yes, and I remember this, I love this. Cute, I love that reindeer, or deer, rather. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, see, there is Valentine's Day stuff in here also. So, we definitely need to go through and organize these bins. This isn't all Christmas stuff. Oh yeah, I always loved this. These little magnolias. So, some of this stuff is from my classroom as well. All right, now this looks like a true Christmas bin. So we have all kinds of stockings, which Chaz's mom actually got us new stockings for this year that are kind of gonna be like a family tradition. So these are probably just the extra. We usually use these ones, these three, for my family when they come down or when we go to see them for Christmas. So I have my mom, my dad, and my brother. So we usually just fill those. 
or we'll do them for the pets depending on where we are. Uh, this one is actually from our foster daughter last year and her name is on here so I'll probably fill this with goodies and mail this to her for Christmas this year. So I'll keep that one set aside. So yeah, this one is full of all kinds of Christmas stuff that we need to go through. Coasters and trees and a little sleigh, some garland, bells, all kinds of stuff. So this year I think I want to have a lighted star on top. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in here. It's going to take me a while to get through all of this stuff. And then this bin is a hodgepodge of everything. As you can see, I have stuff from my classroom in there. So there's pipe cleaners. I have a steam bin label. I have an old treasure chest lid. I have some really random things in that bin. So we definitely have some organizing to do, but this will help me get a sense of what I need to put out for Christmas and what I might still want to get or get rid of, all kinds of things. All right, so this tree is super easy to set up, you guys. It only comes with a few pieces. So basically, you take this whole piece, undo the drawstring, and it just pops open. And then the top half does the same thing. Or I can't really tell which part is which right now. And then there's just the base. So it's basically a three-part tree. This tree is bigger than I remember. Oh. <laughs> Try it over here. <laughs> Why is it so huge? Why did you get one? It's so big. Oh no. That's just the base. All right, let's do what we did last night and put the TV caddy corner. I know you didn't love it. We're gonna have to move this end table. You guys, look at this end table. This is like so close. There would yeah, be like no space. Look. No. Room. No. Here, let's try it. I think let's try this back patty corner. Now it looks like we're missing a part. Was there anything else in there? <laughs> See, perfect. <laughs> That's the topper. Where's the middle section? <laughs> you mean it's not supposed to look like this? All right, so this is what we decided on, and this setup where the TV is is actually just temporary. So basically the plan is to get our 65 inch TV, and that will be mounted on the wall. So we're gonna have someone come out and install a new outlet and a cable outlet up here on the wall behind the mount so that there's no wires that have to hang down. And then we're gonna put our cable box behind the TV up there as well. That way it's completely cord free and just it'll look really nice and put together. And then we are going to move our router for our internet over by Chaz's Xbox. We're going to have them put in another internet or cable outlet over there. Then this table we'll just take away. This was this is actually my old vanity and we just had this out in the garage because we didn't have a place for it in the house that we're in now. So we just decided to put that there temporarily and then underneath where we're going to mount the TV we'll put a floating shelf or a couple of floating shelves I think depending on what looks good with the new TV and then this whole area down here will be free for baby toys we'll probably put our little one swing over here or play mats or I don't know we'll just kind of have to see what it looks like at that time but for now this is our current setup so please don't mind it It'll be fun for you guys to kind of see how all of this changes over these next few months or so. Well, it's already and, changed a lot. Yeah, it has We're changed. Next, um, having a big old dresser there to get our back and it's gone and we got a new piece of furniture. Yeah. So what we did with the dresser is we brought it into the nursery 
Now, of course, it's not clean, so just bear with us, but basically we are going to change out the hardware. I'm gonna have Chaz make those drawers so that they can't fall out onto the baby if she ever pulls on them. And then I also want to paint the other drawers and put those in so that we have a full dresser. Then I'm gonna measure and order a changing pad topper to go on top here. So this will count as her changing table and dresser for all of her extra diapers and wipes and bibs and just anything and everything that needs to go in her dresser. So this will have to go out in the garage and we're gonna have to spend some time working on this, but I just wanted to see if it kind of fit in this space. So the plan is to have her dresser over here with her changing table and then this wall will be where her crib is at and we'll put probably the rocker or the glider chair over in the corner back there. A handsome boy. All right, so now it's time for our baby name hint. Are you ready, babe? I'm ready. All right, are you ready, guys? Don't give them too much. Okay, let's see. So the first hint is that baby girl's name starts uh -oh. with dun, 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 a vowel. <laughs> That's all you get for now. You guys will have to tune uh -oh. in to our other videos so that you can be sure to not miss any of the future hints, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be dropping hints randomly, I guess, throughout some of our videos, so that by the time she's here, you will almost be able to guess what her name is. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna guess it or not. It'll take a little bit, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Because there are a lot of beautiful names that start with a vowel. <laughs> we need to give um, them some of the names that we haven't that we aren't gonna pick or go with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Baby's doing all right. She's she said good. she's kicking. She's kicking. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just enjoying it mm -hmm. while I'm relaxing and you're watching football. Yeah. So the sun's out coming through the windows <laughs> and it's nice and relaxing. I wonder if the breeze is pick if it's cooled down some. Yeah, I think so. All right, guys. It's been a pretty uh, fun and exhausting day. We. Uh, I didn't picture us completely redoing the, the living room, no. uh, but we have some good ideas. I'm actually going to uh, build something, so I have another project to do. Yes. But uh, it'll be fun. Shelves. I'm going to build some floating shelves, some yeah. industrial floating shelves. So, yeah, that'll be fun. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.